Brutal Realms from Realm Toys. If you are a Barbarian or Sword and Sorcery fan, this is a line which is right up your alley. When I first discovered this line on Kickstarter, it literally blew my mind. And I wanted to take a little bit of time today and explain just how special this line truly is. Brutal Realms is really one of the most exciting projects I've seen in a while, particularly for a Kickstarter and a brand new action figure line just starting up. I mean, this honestly is the type of action figure line we absolutely 100% deserve. There are a lot of things that go into action figures and one of the major components is of course articulation. And for many of us in the barbarian realm, you know, the guys who like He-Man, Conan, all of these wonderful barbarian type figures, Gladiator, there are a bunch of signature poses that for the most part cannot be done by the existing 1 12th scale action figures that are on the line presently. If you're getting into the higher end Japanese versions where you're talking about SH figure arts or maybe uh, the amazing Yamaguchi, those are purpose built to be able to articulate in a very, very high fashion. And unfortunately, in some cases, like the amazing Yamaguchi, they can actually really look terrible if they're just doing standard regular poses. This action figure line, however, is very distinctive and so much of the fact that it won't break the bank when you actually purchase any of these figures. Let's be honest with you, most of the figures that I mentioned uh, are Japanese in origin and they can, including the import price and uh, you know the, the cost to actually get them over here to North America, they can cost quite, quite a pretty penny, anywhere between $80 US to almost $120 US depending on the figure itself. These Brutal Realms figures, starting at $28 for the base body figure, all the way up to $46 for General Grimskull. That is in freaking sane in terms of its overall value. I mean, let's just take a look at the articulation level that these things actually have, because I think you'll agree, these will blow your absolute mind. This 3D printed prototype really showcases how easy it is to get these figures into their signature poses. This is another wonderful example of a pose which is very signature to Frank Frazetta. Here is a demonstration of how the shoulder joints actually pivot up and down. This is a wonderful addition to the character and has been utilized with other figures such as SH Figure Arts. But with a character as beefy and burly as this, you wouldn't expect this type of articulation, particularly from a barbarian type of action figure. Anyone who's a sword and sorcery fan will definitely love these type of figures. Being able to move the joints as effortlessly as Jason is able to do here, there are several signature poses that have been sought after by many action figure enthusiasts. In Masters of the Universe, Prince Adam will always call down upon the Cairo Grayskull, holding his sword aloft and calling out to the heavens, by the power of Grey Skull, And this figure in particular is able to do this pose wonderfully, I might add. The butterfly joints on these are absolutely incredible. Look at the ease of how Jason's able to manipulate this figure. As a matter of fact, this might be a very signature pose for one of my favorite characters. I'm sure all of us Thundercats fans recognize the call of the Thundercats, being able to hold the sword above his head for that laser point into the sky. Here, we can see a pose very similar to the Thundercat's call, but if we bring the arms back just a little bit, we can see a literal, almost wood chopping type of strike from the back of the head all the way down to the final strike. There are many photographers of action figures who would love to be able to get that on camera, and now it is possible. This is an absolute win for the community, and I really am hoping that this particular figure line will become a reality as these are the types of action figures we deserve, especially for a price point of between $28 to $46 a figure. This figure line by far is one of the most exciting lines I've seen in quite some time as these figures would be a wonderful addition to anyone's collection, particularly if you're into barbarians, gladiators, Amazons, and of course, sword and sorcery archetypes that these would fall under. This is an incredible line that James Harkness and Jason Soule have proposed, and I really do hope that we're able to see this come to fruition, as these are the types of action figures that I've always wanted to add to my collection. 
I hope that you'll join me in supporting the Brutal Realms Kickstarter, as these are the type of figures I've always wanted in my collection, and these are the type of figures that we all deserve. Let's have a look at the Brutal Realms campaign on Kickstarter, and some of the rewards that you can receive if you back the project. At $28, the first reward is the Blank Body. This is the Bear Base Barbarian, and everything that you see in the video is pretty much there in terms of articulation. The only thing is, it only comes with the character himself. This is a wonderful starting point for anyone who's a customizer or just wants a blank body to be able to add to your Mass Universe collection, the Conan the Barbarian collection. This would be a wonderful addition. The first wave consists of Ogun, the God of Iron, starting at $36. Ogun is an amazing character and has a wonderful backstory. He comes with a sword and his signature shield, which apparently is alive and speaks to him. He also comes with this wonderful pack out set of armor, which is of course removable and customizable and looks amazing with this particular version of the character. The second figure available is Cronin, the future barbarian king at $36. This figure, of course, we've been looking at as a prototype and I have to say, I am really enthralled with this particular character. He comes with everything that you see here, the ax, the sword, two sets of additional swappable hands, two fists, two gripping hands, and two splayed out hands, as well as a more furled brow for a swappable head. The Beguiled Barbarian at $36 for this reward. This character has a deep history. For more information, you should definitely check out my live stream that I did with Jason Soul as he explains the entire lore of this character. As you can see here, he comes with the base body, this armor set, including his boots, that wonderful belt, the tattooed version of the character with the crow on top of his chest, and a swappable head, which has a skull-like appearance. Two sets of additional hands, two fists, already attached to the character, two gripping hands, and two splayed hands. He also comes with his demonic axe, which is my understanding calls to him to continue to kill and drinks the blood of his enemies to become stronger. At $36, this is a wonderful addition. And then, Army Builders, the Warriors 3, the European Barbarian with dreadlocks, a spear, swappable feet. Yes, that's right, you can remove the boots and add feet, stripping down the character to the base body. And he comes with two fists and two gripping hands. The Africa Warrior at $30 is, of course, the base character, comes with a single dagger. Actually, it's more like a short sword. That unique head sculpt, two fists, two grippable hands, the two bare feet. Army builder set up with loincloth, boots, and shoes. The Native American Barbarian Warrior is another wonderful addition to the line. He comes with a tomahawk, the two swappable fists, two grippable hands, and the two swappable feet. And that unique head sculpt, which makes him stand out among all the other army builders of the line. To help move the project along, the first tier has already been unlocked, and you can purchase Chief Mato right now for $36. This figure has become a fan favorite and has really given the campaign a big boost. And now he will be available as a reward for back in the project. He comes with this incredible armor set, the headdress, the armor on the chest, the upper bicep bands, the loincloth with the waist adornment, those amazing boots, a very unique tomahawk, which only comes with the character, and this larger melee weapon. You can pre-order Chief Mato right now and add him to your Brutal Realm collection. The second tier will be the Great Khan, a Mongolian-inspired character who comes with an incredible pack out, including a bow and arrow, and sword with his own unique set of armor. Third unlockable tier is the Owl King. It's another European inspired figure, a warrior king from the north who represents the greatest of his people that worship the Great Owl. He comes with this unique armor set which has feathers in place of leather or metal. His armor set also includes a unique belt, bicep bands, gauntlets with shin guards. His weapons include dual axes with amazing owl heraldry and he also comes with a small owl companion. The fourth tier is Uruk, the Sumerian. All of these characters are rooted in the history of combat, and it's amazing to see them realized here in action figure form. The unique armor designs and head sculpts really add to the character's overall appeal. And of course, the weapons themselves are rooted in history. Uruk comes with this armor set, the spear, and his amazing looking sword, and heralds from the famed city of which the epic heroes Gilgamesh ruled. And finally, the most anticipated figure in the line is General Grimskull. The Shadar commander, Grimskull is seemingly unbeatable as every hero who has dared challenged him has fallen for him. However, he has yet to face the Brutal Realms heroes. He definitely has a very Skeletor appearance, but also has shades of Darth Vader with his glowing red sword. This definitely is going to be the fan favorite figure of the line and is only $46, the deluxe character in the set, but very much well worth it. Additional unlockable characters include the six tier Shadow Warriors, which are only $36 each. 
Each character will come with a set of swappable heads, making each of them unique in their own way and wonderful for army building. And finally, the seventh tier, and finally the seventh and last tier will be Athena, warrior goddess. She looks absolutely stunning and comes with her own unique body sculpt, which is obviously different from all the other characters before her. She will be coming with a helmet, which has an articulated mask, a Medusa shield, a Spartan spear, and a sword, which is very much inspired by Roman and Greek culture. Athena is the final crown jewel of the set, and it would be amazing to be able to unlock her in this round of funding for Brutal Realms. The campaign is currently sitting at $63,526 in pledges of 140,000 pledge goal with 465 backers. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. There are only nine days left to go, but it should be noted that multiple retailers, including Big Bad Toy Star, have these listed up for sale on their website. So these numbers will be added just before the final day of funding. So we could well be on our way to seeing this line completed. But every little bit counts and Brutal Realm really needs your support in order to get this past the finish line. I'll have links in the description below where you can back Brutal Realm by Realm Toys on Kickstarter. Guys, definitely give them a like and a follow, and of course, pledge whatever you can to help this line become a reality. Because this is the type of action figure line that we all deserve, made by wonderful, passionate people. I want to give another huge shout out to James Harkness and Jason Soul, two collectors who have been bringing their dream to reality. And I have to say, these action figures are really blowing my mind. Because the characters themselves, from $28 to $46, is an absolute steal for what you get. Articulation-wise, sculpt-wise, and of course, action figure-wise. Let's get brutal, everybody, and support the Brutal Realms Project.